House to Home gives practical tips and recommendations to keep your house up to date. Sponsored by Avista. Welcome aboard, folks. I'm Clyde Hawsey, and I say welcome to House to Home. Um, as a landscape architect, I have the opportunity to be around a lot, a lot of people, and I really want to say thank you to Avista and to Tom Linhard, who would have been very much so involved in a lot of the programs with House to Home. But as Tom is the energy efficient engineer with Avista, Tom is full of information. And right now, we're going to do a couple programs, but this one I want about is going to be, what about the small businesses and, and, and how we can all uh, think about what they're going through? And I know Avista's sure been thinking about it. Tom, can you help us out and fill us in on some more information of what uh, Avista and how they have become our community leader in this area? Well, thank you, Clyde. You know, without the small businesses, we don't know where we would be. Um, all the big businesses sprung from them <laughs> and the, they're really having a hard time right now with the COVID virus and the things that are happening. And so anytime we can do something to help them, that's going to help us as well. And we've been doing interviews of some of our small business customers to find out how this pandemic has hit them. And we've been finding out a lot of things that are going to help us even after we're uh, back to work and everybody's doing well from this little bit of stay at home time of work that we've seen up to this point. So hopefully you and I can talk a little bit about maybe what they're seeing today and what we can do to help them low, you know, lower the amount of energy that they use in the future. Well, you know, Tom, we're running into a problem which you just spoke about, but let's be more direct. The dollars and cents is that it's costing these small businesses around. Everybody's been feeling it inside, even at our own homes. But the small business has really been suffering. And I know that Avis is anxious to come out and 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 to, to say, we have some ideas for you. That'll it'll if you have to shut down a building or if you have to make adjustments in the hours, I assume all of those things have been taken into consideration. Yeah, I really appreciate you bringing that up because that was some of the first questions we got from people. Uh, even two weeks into this, they would call us and say, I don't feel like my uh, energy use is going down, even though I've, I've shut off everything. And so we sent out some helpers to say, okay, have you, have you cleaned out the refrigerator in your old building that you left and turned it off and unplugged it and blocked the door open? Because otherwise it's just going to use energy as if something was in it. Have you made sure to turn off the water coolers and all the things that were on there? So we just try to help people with the things that they can't see immediately when they walk in their building to shut them off. Well, I know I, I've read through the list that you sent out to me and, and, uh, You've just briefly touched on a few items, but folks, when you're looking at even at your own home, but I mean, let's talk about the small business. I think of our, my son's company, which is a landscape company. We don't need the ice maker on anymore, do we? <laughs> no, and this is a perfect time of year to, instead of just setting your thermostat back, go ahead and shut it off if you're not going to be around because we are out of the freezing period. And so you're probably not going to lose anything now for a couple of months. Just shut off all your heating and cooling so you don't have a load on that building if you're not using it. Well, what you're saying, Tom, it's all good. And and, and I know you've put together lists of things. Uh, how the listening people here get hold of some of these lists of things of of questions they have and and overall i mean avista is so anxious to talk to you if you come to our website uh, myavista.com and you if you go right to the website you'll see a covid 19 area and if you go into that area we've got all kinds of documentations to help you with your buildings whether it's residential or commercial to see if you can do better with the amount of energy you're using if you're not using a building. And then if you are, we have some people who actually had to increase their ventilation or uh, mm -hmm. try to try to do um, bring more air in because they were worried they have people still in their building and they wanted to make sure that they didn't have viruses 
that were hanging around. So better filtration, more air coming through. There was some work we did with some people to help them actually keep running. Well, what you're saying, Tom, is that basically anymore, it isn't just uh, cleaning the filter of the furnace. It's understanding the complete operation of your business with moisture in the outlying areas of it, it could be in a storage or a, a building where you have things have changed. And so we need to be fully aware of, I guess you and I, we've talked about this. We said, you know, turn everything off and then let me walk through it again and let me see what I hear or I don't hear. And what do I can see and not see? Because then I'm, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to throw it to you and right after the break that we need to be looking at security. It has to be given also to this building that again, we're not visiting every single day or every moment of the hour. You're absolutely right. If you don't have to use that building and you can completely secure it, then you can get rid of all your lighting. But if you're afraid of having someone break in, then you're going to have to keep enough security lighting on so that you feel like you can be safe. But those are two completely different things. And I think you struck on something really important, Clyde, and that is maybe having a friend who also has a business if you guys would swap each other's businesses or gals and go to the other one and say, did you know that this is on? Did you know that that's on? Maybe maybe your friendship could help you use less energy or find those things that are still on. Well, you're going to test your friendship that, that way. How, that? We're going to take a quick break, Tom. We're going to come back and we'll finish off with a few more quick ideas uh, in how and what to do with Avista is, is really your partner in this particular time of the year. Here at River Ridge Hardware, we want to help you celebrate your mothers and your grandmothers with all kinds of gifts. Have you ever been to your grandmother's house and she has a project for you to do and you can't find the shovel or the rake's broken? We have rakes, shovels, hose at $5.97. We have bird feeders. We have hanging baskets. We have everything that your mother or grandmother would ever want here at River Ridge Hardware. Hi, I'm Dave Lucas, running to be your state senator. I'm a husband, father, and Marine veteran with almost 22 years of experience. I know during this current medical emergency and time of uncertainty, people are concerned. I hope you and your family are doing well. I have the experience, leadership, and training to move us past this crisis. To learn more about me and my campaign for state senator, please follow me on my Twitter, Facebook, or my website at votedavelucas.net. Thank you and stay well. Welcome back. Back to House Clyde Halsey, along with Tom Lenhart, Energy and Efficient Engineer with Avista. Tom, uh, I don't want everybody just to think that we're shutting down the businesses, but we have to curtail some activity for some of the hours. And I'm and I'm going to be cheating a little bit because I'm reading your building shutdown checkoff list. But some of the things I think that we need to evaluate, even if, as we do a lower key of operation, is how are we running exhaust fans? How are we running the computer systems? How are we taking care of that? I mean, you've done a lot of research on this. Uh, what are the things that should be looked at? Well, I think if you uh, are a facility that cooks food, maybe a restaurant or something else, a lot of times we'll see them shut down the fan that brings air in for their vent hood, and or they may shut down the vent hood itself, and then they don't shut the fan off that brings air into the facility. So they're they're actually getting air in that now needs to be heated and cooled while they were off. And so I think it's a matter of looking at a systems approach to how your building is working and say, did I get everything in this system that I had hoped for shut off? And honestly, it's not all about shutting off. In a lot of people's cases, no. they're, they're having a completely different way of operation. So maybe they're uh, where the guests used to sit and eat is empty, but they're still, their kitchen's fully functional and they're running food back and forth to people who are coming in. And so just the idea of looking at it and saying, what do I need here for lighting? What do I need here for certain things? 
to make sure that um, they they do the best that they can. We understand that there's a lot of people that are not making the income that they may be for because of this virus, which means that even though we have low rates, it makes our cost to them even more of a percentage of what they have to pay than it was before. So we want to help any way we can. Well, the other thing is, Tom, is that uh, let's uh, give information again. How do they make contact with you? Which departments do we want them to go to? I mean, just give us the information so that people can follow. And because every one of us have a different need, usually. If you go to mayavista.com, you can either ask us a question if you have one. There's a, a thing on Maya Vista called Ask a Vista. And you can put in that email and it goes directly to the contact center reps. And a lot of us read every email that comes in from our customers. So if you have a question, Ask a Vista is a really great way to do it. But on Maya Vista, you'll find that there are other things that you can use to help yourself in this particular thing, including if you need to make payment arrangements, it talks about who to call to do that. All of the things that you're going to need to do to get through this. Um, if you're not one of those lucky few who are actually working so hard that they're, they can't even understand that everybody else isn't working. Yeah, times have changed. You know, we're all functioning today under different circumstances. And so are you and I as we're talking here today because we usually enjoy bantering back and forth side by side. But we've we've all changed our style of doing things. And especially in the business world, uh, boy, and I, and I look at the, you know, go through your building, identify what's happening, identify plugins that are, are not being used or are being used. What is going on, the coffee maker? I mean, I don't care what it is. It's all dollars and cents. And maybe I'm from the old school. You got to watch the pennies before you can see the dollars come. And I think that that's what a Vista is out here to do. And if they go to your website, they're going to get it. They can actually get these lists online. Am I right? You bet. They're available in under the COVID-19 header. You can find all of these things to help you with your business if that's what you'd like. Can I ask another question? Because I'm leading you on here, Tom. If they wanted uh, a representative to come out and see them and, and, and go through, is that still available? I, I know everything has been pulled back quite a bit. Well, our services as audits, on-site audits, has not been considered critical because they don't really want us mixing it up with the public in that regard. But we have been testing and having great success with um, calling people on their smartphones and walking them through the facilities if we were with them. And in fact, what we found is that uh, people actually do better than they did when I would go do an audit for them and tell them what I found because now I'm actually showing them what I'm looking for. And in the process, we're building a better champion than we had before. What you're saying, Tom, is that you're working out of the box, right? Well, we're hoping that some of these things that we think are hard to do right now are going to stick and we'll actually get some opportunities we never had before because we were forced to do it here. Uh, one other thing we haven't really touched on, and that's exterior security and, and you're recommending lighting security systems and so forth, uh, especially on the buildings. Now, we have a, a real positive thing now being as the days are getting longer but there's still some nighttime uh, that we need to keep the uh, security lights on with, right? Yeah, if you can't, like I said, if you don't have a fence that you can lock everybody out and you need to be able to be watching your doors and stuff, but um, make sure that those are the most efficient lights you've got. If you're just leaving a couple on, leave the ones on that are the most efficient. So if you have a few LEDs in your place and, and you wanna leave some lights on, Leave the LEDs on because they're going to use the less, least amount of energy. You bet. Well, folks, as you're hearing from Tom, and, and he is the efficient engineer with Avisa, he has a, a lot of great ideas, I know, and, and he's working at it very hard to fill in the blanks along the way that our life is all at once. It's another new day, and I talk to Tom quite a bit, and Tom comes up with another new idea, and, and I think that's what we're all going to be working for is how we can become more efficient watching the dollars and cents. Again, contact information, and then Tom, we're going to bring it to an end here. Uh, contact information for us, all you need is Maya Vista. Come to mayavista.com, take a look around, see what you need, and ask us a question, and we'll get back to you. 
Folks, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about here on House to Home is to become better educated. Avista is one of our community leaders and begin, they, they have information for us. Again, how to work out of the box and involve people and they're looking for your and my future. Until next time, I'm Clyde Hossey, Tom Leonard with Avista. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by Avista.